We have managed to find the lions that we were searching for. We actually um, were able to locate them earlier this morning, just after the drive had ended. These are the, this is what I think is two of the sausage tree pride lionesses, fast asleep with their heads tucked in the long grass. Um, interesting though, I'm, I'm trying to remember how many cubs they had because from all my notes that I've got from what various people have said, that there were five cubs. Now, I'm trying to remember, maybe you can all help me out here. The sighting we had of them eating the zebra a couple of mornings ago. Does anyone remember or maybe have a full f portrait of all the lions and can count the cubs? Because we've only got four cubs here and I thought I remembered seeing five as well. So I'm a little bit on the on the confused side here. But anyways, uh, the two lionesses, they don't look particularly thin. It's hard to tell though, because they, well, there's a carpet of lions at the moment scattered around in the grass. Uh, they don't look very fat, so I don't know when they last ate, maybe a couple of days, maybe two days ago or so. There's plenty of game around though. There's buffalo, there is, there is also, zebra and all sorts of things. Now, Angelique, you said the sausage tree pride? Yes, yeah, this is most certainly the two lionesses from the sausage tree pride. What we are trying to work out, though, is exactly how many cubs we saw the other morning, because I thought we saw five. I really did. I thought we had, maybe it was four. I've completely forgot. I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. I've only just started at properly making notes now, once I could go and do a bit of research myself. But they're fairly flat for now. They don't look like they're going to get up and do too much. But I, I think there's exciting prospects for a later tonight. Hopefully they'll go across and uh, and catch one of those buffalo. The zebras seem to have moved off and closer towards the escarpment because they were actually surrounded by animals this morning, but they were sitting in the lugger. And maybe as the day warmed up slightly, it wasn't particularly hot, they just decided to come and lay out in the grass. Now, Kimberly, you've said, yay, lions. No surprise there, we're in the Mara, the land of lions, which is very exciting. But we'll see, if we'll sit here for maybe about 45 minutes or so. If I don't get up to too much, we'll probably go and find something else. Maybe we'll quickly pop past the jackal den and come back this side. But they're fast asleep, absolutely fast asleep. Ah, oh, Leo, you said look at the beautiful background. It is nice, you may even be able to see that there's a bit of a storm brewing. You can especially see it in the far western corner of the escarpment. Um, it's not great, but but uh, Jar seems to think, and he, he knows this area very well, uh, he says that he thinks we might be lucky and that the storm is just sort of brewing on the escarpment and hopefully it doesn't come down onto the plains. But I'm watching these clouds creep over closer and closer, but the worst stuff is actually ahead of us.